Do you remember when I put on a world record breaking event? Do you remember when I 3D printed myself really big? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or any of your family seen a spectre, ghost or spirit? We're, We're ready, ready to, to believe you. you. Right, I'm here with 10 Fell Cosplay, who you may remember from my DEF CON vlog. <laughs> we were looking at your 3D model. How mm -hmm. did you make yourself that big? Well, a few people have asked me how I did actually enlarge the model and cut it up and print all the pieces to make it twice the size of me. So we're going to have a quick look at doing something about that in detail. So, are we going to use your face again? No, people are bored of seeing my face, so we're going to use your face. And we're going to do a new scan with this, a Kinect sensor. Right, we've got the Kinect on a tripod and we're using Reconstruct Me, which is free software for non-commercial use. And we've got Tenufel on a chair and we're going to spin round and use the software in selfie mode to do a 3D scan of her head. We'll do it very slowly. Now don't laugh or do anything strange. <laughs> and when we get round again, we should count up 100%. Oh my god. Ta -da! Just like you've the coins not in your to game. blink or smile. Oh, I'm sorry, it's that's dirty. Here it is. What has happened to my face? I don't know. No, it's not too bad. Is it shadow? It might be something to do with the lighting in here. Mm. <laughs> I can see you trying not to laugh. That's <laughs> so hard! Yeah, that's good. Look, you look good. I look, I look, that's Obviously, hard. this is colour, but anyway. Right, that's the end of the scan. Oh, where's she gone? She's gone into the computer, just like in Tron. Ah, I'm stuck in a computer. Tinny fell. All right, so how did you get out of the computer? I used my Sheikah slate. Right. Glad to have you back. Thank you. Now we're going to do the piece about how we actually cut this up in Fusion, which is actually all this video needed to be, really. So we've uploaded the STL we exported from Reconstruct Me into Fusion 360, which is what I cut up my uh, original model with. Now to get the mesh functions, you have to go uh, into your preferences and go to preview and select mesh workspace and that gives you another drop down on here called mesh which is for doing mesh operations which is a bit like mesh mixer uh, but basically that's been brought into fusion 360 and now it's pretty simple All we need to do is make planes by uh, creating an offset plane from somewhere like the origin so we can make one about let's just say the top of the head there and if we want to see where that is more easily we can stretch it out like so and then we've got now this mesh operation, modify plane cut, select the body, which is the only mesh we've got, and select the plane, which is the plane, and um, it'll cut that in half. Now we can split it or we can trim it, so we've only got half of it. But for now I'm going to do split so we can cut it all up. And we're going to select the fill type as uniform. If we don't have a fill, it leaves the meshes open, which isn't very good for 3D printing. If we do uniform, uh, then it should put basically flat sides on that fill the meshes in. So if we get rid of that plane and get rid of one mesh, we can see now we've got this lovely filled in section on the, the uh, bottom of the top of the head. You've scalped me. Yeah, so then that makes the, uh, the mesh watertight and we can put that back into Cura or somewhere and um, 3D print it. So again, I can keep cutting up by uh, creating more planes here. So we'll do one just on there for now. All right just down here. <laughs> Let's hide the other one. Yeah. Mm. Plane two, right. And then again, we can just cut that in half. So we'll plane cut that. Select that one. And hopefully we should have some more meshes. So now we can get rid of, yeah, there we go. And it's Ooh. filled in the sides. Look at that. Great. And now all we need to do to get these out to 3D print them is right click on there and select save STL or OBJ and we can stick that straight into Cura and uh, set all the print parameters. What do you think of this filament? This protopasta glitter flake. Oh, it's lovely. It's all silver and, and sparkly. Is, is it for Christmas? Yeah, or for decorative things. PLA. I like PLA. <laughs> Right, 
Right, she's gone. It's time to turn her scan into a beautiful gift. So I've put a number of planes here and cut this thing up. These pieces fit on the Lulzbot Taz with a Morse Truder, so um, they're about 250mm high, so it's going to come out pretty big. Um, obviously the scan quality is pretty poor from that, so there are better sensors you can plug in, and there are better options, so originally with my 3D printed large human. So this is uh, this is called Cubify iSense, which is a handheld 3D scanner. And uh, that was attached to an iPad, so check out that video, but basically it was a lot better than the scanning capabilities I've got here. Uh, but anyway, this is more about cutting up the model, of course you could download a model from Thingiverse, cut it up and print it really big. Yes, it's Protopass the Glitter Flake on the Morstruder. Yes, it's some random red PLA out of the light. And some other black filament that I happen to have. Who knows what's happening next? Right, I've printed all the pieces. This one I ran out of filament, so I swapped it halfway through. Look at that lovely glitter flake. Right, let's see what she thinks of that. What do you think of that? Oh my god! <laughs> what is that? That's your face. Oh my <laughs> You like it? Is it a beautiful present? <laughs> I was expecting my head! I was not expecting my face like that! That's the glitter plate, look it's roughly glittery. It's so lovely. With some Lego yellow. <laughs> it's like, it looks like a, like a torso from like, like an art project. That's your nose. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's not quite as detailed as mine. No, it's not a waste of filament actually, because it's for entertainment and education. There we go. So you can make your own. Right, but that's the end of the video. So don't forget to check out Tinyfell's links in the description to the video, and we might have another project coming up. Yep. What are you going to do with that? I I might put straps on the back and make it into a shield, or just 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 hide a behind backpack. it. Yep. Yep. Can't. No. It's just like camouflage. Yep. It's beautiful though. It's a uh, a thing of beauty. I think we can class it as art. Yeah, art. Yeah? Art. It's for art uh -huh. as well. The yeah. arts. It's important. Very important. All Very right. important. Yeah.